Let's see how you do under pressure, oh Yeah, I've been wanted this shit forever I've been in the field with whatever they throw at me Brush it off, pick myself up, moving on to the better Okay, hey. yeah. Ain't no errors, baby, it's a new era I wake up early, feeling rich like I'm Kesha I get to the paper, boy Extra, extra What's happening guys, this is Luce Polga from Fight Division with Jacob who has just like won an opening to the main card. So we just had Jacob and Jay Council. You came in with the win, but what a fight literally. I've just been saying, everyone that I've spoken to in the crowd, for even Liam Harrison, everyone is walking around in shock just saying, what did I just watch? So you've just said to me off camera, you wanted to put on a show. My goodness, what a way to put on a show. How are you feeling? I feel amazing, you know, I feel on top of the world. You know, I'm really happy with myself. Wasn't wasn't a perfect performance, you know, still lots of things to improve on, but I got the job done, you know, and that's all that matters. Yeah, oh my god. And so um, do you feel the difference in those four rounds gloves? Like it is a different game in those, isn't it? A hundred percent, you know. I mean I've fought in them before, but it was a couple of years ago. And when I got in there, it hit me the first couple of shots. I was like, wow, you know, like I, 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 I remembered how how hard they were. But um, yeah, I embraced it all and I enjoyed it. Do you know, everyone did enjoy watching it, but there was a few people, so like uh, Lisa as well, like a few people like kind of struggled to watch it because it was so hard to see us both like absolutely giving it everything. Yeah. And there was a couple of people who were sort of like, we are, we're all here, we're all love fighting, but it was hard to watch at certain points. You were both just giving it absolutely everything. In the first round, you did drop him a couple of times. So did you think then I might have him here and then he got back up? Yeah. Um the thing was, when I dropped him, I really didn't want to rush in, you know, because I thought that's, that's, that's when, if anything, someone's going to be the most dangerous, you know. So when I dropped him, I thought, look, take take your time, don't rush stuff, nothing. Um, I think I could have found found my shots better after that, but he caught me with a, you know, fair play to him as well, he caught me with a shot after, and it really obstructed my vision, so... I, went, I wanted to, I wanted to, you know, make sure that I didn't get caught with anything silly. But as I say, still, still put on a show. Oh, absolutely put on a show, and it was literally like for the three rounds, like non-stop, and it was, it was a very good back and forth as well. Like you both landed some really clean shots. I've just spoken to Dr. Sean Aspinall, um, and he has got some amazing shots. I mean, like the perfect points from you both, like just landing beautiful shots. Um, so obviously, we'll be excited to see them. Talk to us now then about what happens next because medically speaking now they said they're going to change that it was supposed to be you were going to fight again tonight. Just talk us through what the plan is now. So the final is now going to be held in London yeah. in April, um, which, you know, that, I think that's a lot better anyway. Yeah. Obviously I'd planned on fighting yeah. twice a night, yeah. but um, I, had, I, I didn't go in there with any sort of preconception of ah, let me, like, I want to be reserved. I, I went in there, I put it all on the line. Oh, yeah. You know, I fought my heart out, and so did Jay. You know, we both give it our all, and win or lose for either of us, you know. As you say, we put on a show for everyone, and that's the main thing what matters. And do you know what I love as well? So I saw you, apologies for the noise. I saw you just before you went on, and you give each other a little fist bump, give each other like a little nod, and then the respect at the end, like, and I could see it like literally, not a lot of people will see those little moments, but I'm lucky I get to see it backstage, and it's just so nice to see, and it feels like a real genuine respect for you both. 100%, 100%, you know. Listen, I, it, it does nothing personal with this sport. We're both fighting for the same thing, you know. We're both fighting for our dream, for our family, you know, for our team. So I've, just, I've got the utmost respect for him, but at the end of the day, he's He's standing in the way of my dream, and I'm standing in the way of his. So, you know, I can only I can only respect him. And as I say, he put his heart on the line. I put my heart on the line, and and it paid off. We put a show on for everyone. So just talk to us, like, what what does this mean to you? You say you're doing this for your family. Like, how, what is the opportunity of this one championship uh, contract? What what how would that change your life? Oh, it changed it massively. You know, fighting fighting everything to me. I don't do anything else. You know, fighting is my whole life. I wake up, I train, I eat, I go to sleep, I train, I eat, I go to sleep. That's all I do, you know. And and when I get in there, you now I just try and have, I try and have fun. But more than anything, like I say, put on a show for the fans. You know, they they spend their hard-earned money to come watch us. So the least we can do is is make it worth their while, you know. 
so honestly, like I said, like I've literally been in the crowd just chatting to people like how did you find and everyone's kind of just walking around like a bit dumbfounded, like I can't believe what I've just watched. Um, so again, I just want to um, sort of reiterate over, um, so the, the plan has slightly changed tonight, it's not going to be fighting, um, April will be when you go on again, what is it looking like for you in the in between now then, so you're just going to keep going? Yeah, I'll, I'll recover from this, you know, and I'll get straight back to training, as I say, I don't do anything else, you know, I have nothing else, fighting fighting's all I care about, so yeah, get back, recover, get straight back into camp, you know, and get as soon as possible, get a one championship, you know, that's the goal. As soon as possible straight back in I saw you do um, another interview and you did say you were saying you don't think there was anyone really in the tournament who could have given you anything but you did mention Jay so I, I think we was all hoping you'd get matched up because she was like not really too bad about anyone there's nothing that I think will stop me but Jay Council will be a good matchup I'd yeah. love to see that yeah. and then it came through which was yeah. amazing so did he bring you the fight that you thought he would 100% 100% you know as I said at the end you know that is the fight that everyone wanted to see yeah, 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 yeah. so win or lose for him um, you know that was a brilliant fight for both of us you know, it puts our names out there massively. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it's, it, it, listen, it was a mad experience, and Absolutely and awesome. he gave me he gave me a tough fight. I give him, him a tough fight. Um, and yeah, I just I feel amazing. You know, I feel amazing. I'm I'm happy that I I went out there and, and did what I set to do. Like I said, I'm just a little bit disappointed in myself that there's little things I could have done better. But every 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 fight's a learning curve. You know, so like I say, I I rest up. You know, I I I'll take certain lessons from it. I will come back, work on my game. You know, in April you see a a a better version of me, more improved. And then, as I say, on one championship. Do you know what I can't? So I've never actually seen you fight live, other than say, obviously, it's obviously like watch your videos and stuff. But today was the first time I saw you live, and it was absolutely unbelievable. Like we all absolutely loved it. So thank you so much for putting on a show for us. Thank you so much for putting literally your life on the line to entertain us, and thank you for coming chatting to me. Thank, thank you so you much. much. Thank you very much. Thank you. Okay. Let's see how you do under pressure. Oh. I've been wanted this forever I've been in the field with whatever they throw at me Brush it off, pick myself up, moving on to the better okay. hey. yeah. Ain't no errors, baby, it's a new era I wake up early, feeling rich like I'm Kesha I get to the paper, boy Extra, extra